On this episode of Doug Outdoors, I'm doing an overnighter at a campground, um, but it'll be a different experience. I'm trying out a new hammock setup. I've uh, not been a hammock guy before, always been tents, so uh, I didn't want to go overly ambitious and hike out into the wilderness and try out the hammock for the first time that way, so we're going to see how it goes uh, when I'm relatively safe that if something goes wrong, I can quickly get out and go home or go get something else or whatever I need. So uh, here we are at uh, Piney Point. This is uh, off of Lake Wright Patman, and we'll see how this experience goes. Now the firewood, the firewood here is uh, fairly wet. Um, it's been raining, kind of a soaking misty rain for the uh, last 24 hours or so. Um, and I'm pretty much going with whatever I find to uh, burn. Um, I, did, I did bring some charcoal just to make sure I could at least cook my meal, but um, I want an all-day fire for the next 24 hours as I do this. I, that's one of the reasons I did the uh, car camping at a campsite was so I could uh, sit around a campfire. What I'm doing right now is uh, looking for stuff like this. The tops of these limbs that are going to be dry enough to uh, at least get the fire started with. Uh, anything that's down on the ground, I'm avoiding that for right now. So hopefully I think I'll be able to collect enough to, to get a fire going here in just a moment. You gotta ask yourself, teepee or log cabin? Well, do you feel lucky, punk? Eh, let's go TP. I'm not gonna lie, I use lighter fluid to get the process going. I'm out here relaxed. I mean, I'm not gonna prove anything to anybody. You know, you know how it is. You know, the whole point of this is just to get out and uh, do something different. You get into the uh, grind of life. No matter what kind of life that is, whether it's uh, office work or outdoor work you just have to eventually stop and do something different for a little while let the mind body and spirit take a break renewal for everybody it's not primitive camping going out and um, with no electricity and uh, living out of a tent or a, a hammock in this case uh, for a, a day or two uh, it's other things for other people going to the beach or whatever maybe but uh, for me, this is this is really a good way to continue the journey of life. Now that I've got a basic camp set up, I'm going to uh, see if I can burn off a little bit of this lunch and uh, go for a walk. There is a hiking trail nearby I'm going to try out, and we'll see if it's uh, much to ride home about. So stay tuned. Well, that was interesting. So when I came out of the campground, I realized I was not in the same camp. So I went to the guardhouse, I asked the lady where I was. She said, you are about a mile and a half south of my campsite. So I have another hike to go. Back at camp and my plan right now is to try to set up this uh, new hammock 
uh, setup. It's it's kind of one of those deals where first time I, I tried to lay down in it, it was way too hot. I felt like I was wearing a plastic bag. Well, tonight it's supposed to get down in the 40s, so there's a big difference between the first time I ever tried to even lay in the thing um, and uh, lie in it, and then now, which is um, anticipating a pretty cold night. So my plan is to put the hammock up. I've got a uh, a, a quilt I'm going to put down uh, in that. Then I've got a uh, about a 40 degree sleeping bag. It's going to go in that. And then I've also got a little canopy that's going to go over the top of it. I'm not anticipating rain, but I'd rather have something over the top of me just in case. Um, as we've had rain off and on and uh, don't want to get caught in that situation. So um, let's see how this setup goes. What we're going to do is put it between that tree and that tree, which is right next to the rest of the camp. So I'll be within the vicinity of the fire even. I think step one looks pretty good. I think that this particular setup will take care of me at least tonight. And um, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, canopy on, although I'm a little intimidated. I've never tried to put up one of these uh, rain flies with the... Uh, it's got five guy lines, so um, I'm sure I can mess that up. But uh, yeah, that'll, that'll come next. But at least the uh, initial setup looks good. Good morning. Slept really well last night. I got down in the 40s. And with this current setup, I managed to stay pretty warm and comfortable. Um, I can see the advantages of things like uh, under quilts that are designed to go underneath the uh, hammock and um, other devices and things that come with more expensive setups uh, as I struggled to keep everything in line and, and um, not sliding, slipping and sliding uh, back and forth. So that was some problems with that. Um, otherwise it was fine and uh, definitely no more than I get out and do this sort of uh, uh, camping in a, in a hammock setup. This is uh, probably going to work for me fairly well, I would have to imagine. Um, a few other little things to work out and to think on, uh, but looks like this. Got a little sloppy with some of the uh, rope work. Didn't really care about how it looked. I just wanted to function, and it did. And also wasn't anticipating any major weather, so, uh, and I didn't get any, of course. And then uh, that helped with, uh, I think I still got to test the equipment. It um, did um, mist and, and dew fall throughout the night. And there's some of that, so I definitely tested the, uh, uh, some of the weather capability at least. Uh, but that's it for now. I'm going to uh, finish my coffee and um, head on home. And uh, until next time, it's Doug Outdoors.